So I uh, need to just get the names flipped real quick. And uh, so Flood is on uh, Pharah right now too. I, yep. I think actually I think they made did they make a sub for Flood coming in? I believe they did. Um, but Flood is now on Pharah, which maybe he's looking at noticing Kefri has to pick Widow really all day. I mean though Hanzo can do it, it's a little bit more difficult as we saw already. He's almost yeah. able to takes uh, uh right out the sky but See, it's really not as consistent for screen wave yeah because now that they have that reaper he really can do oh the there you go hey dash out of that buddy that's there really you go poop. uh Kefi does take care of the tank though diva is down but it looks like screen wave is going to take this point well as long as uh six feet well no it's, it's powerhouse that's so taking a second or powerhouse yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks like it, it got switched that's all but right now actually we're not even sure it's it's still getting it's still a hold uh, it looks like we're about even as far as bodies on the point goes. Yes. With a little bit more uh, more response coming in from Oh, Samito so did the change. There we go. He said, we need a Widow. We need a Widow. But they do have a Tracer for this right now. Oh, man. Get double pocketed. Let's go. Yeah, he's really not giving him the respect that he deserves. Like, you know, when you get up in a, a Widow's face like that. Especially when they have a healer right there with him. But the cool thing about it, though, because... Uh, he was keeping him busy. Six feet was keeping yep. Samito busy. He's, he wasn't able to come around the corner and start pegging away. All his exactly. focus was on this tracer. So it's like, okay, that damage is not going anywhere else. So it's not helping to the fight. So, you know, at the same time, yep. Six feet doesn't have to get the kill. It has to actually just distract Widow enough that she's just not adding to the fight from a far distance, which is going to be very... It's just as good as basically not having her there in the, in the first place. Yeah, Tracer's a really good character to help enable other characters. That clutch, that clutch... Uh, uh, bubble right where the grab was at just saved them they just absorbed all that damage and were able to actually keep the point so it's just, we're just now getting to five percent yep <laughs> it feels like this day i thought they were at least gonna be at 20 by now but i guess it took so long that's what happens when you guys gotta when you start battling back and forth and you you start to cap and then you know you fall off the point it has to cycle all the way back and it's like back and forth and yeah now we're only at 19 percent and we have a lot of ultimates on the board there you go just, oh, stuck onto the that is a really but, big oh, stick. But wait, how did he survive? Like he died. I think the beat actually did save oh, him. Okay. Or yep. did use it in time. Yep. Correct. Correct. I did hear it right when he actually did just blink forward. Six feet taking care of the diva now, and so Mythos as well, just finishing it off. Jeffrey is back on the widow, and Samito is on the the Hanzo. So here we go. They here here comes even, trouble. He goes for the res, but he does die. So now that they are even, but now they're down to mercy. But Erebus does have that uh, beat drop. He might use it to try and stall this point even longer. He's this able to crowd control a little bit, but yeah. there goes Kefri around the side. And then here comes that beat drop, just like I said. He's going to try to just stall. This is what's great about trying exactly. to hold a control point. You know, you're on King of the Hill. You might as well just keep your body on and just run around, use ultimates. Because ult economy is definitely not more value than time is, especially in a game like this. Correct, correct. So with that, like, Kefri is trying to get shots on two of the more mobile characters in the game, which is Lucio and Tracer. And now, uh, Samito's just using that just to kind of, hey, let's separate, let's minimize the actual amount of distance they're going to be able to run around with right now and uh, not let them actually move around so I can get a clean shot. Yeah, Flood but is able to uh, eliminate the uh, D.Va here from this fight, but it just doesn't look like it's enough. Uh, but now with uh, Nesdan getting dropped, uh, Urbos is not going to get any kind of pocket heals to keep himself survived, but still at 87%, 80, probably going to hit about 91, 92. If, uh, the point is still being contested by Tracer on 6 feet. So, wow, they have just gotten it all the way to about 94%. Yep, that that's means just one more team fight. Exactly. Screenwave cannot lose this fight. So all it needs is a solid pick, and that's it. Game over. Yep. They just need to, you know, this is what I'm saying. Like, they start now. Now is the time where they just start to, you know, build up their ultimates. They just need one team fight, and they win this They win this series right here. They win this part of the map, and then mm -hmm. they go on to the next one. Because they already got it down to 94% by just throwing their bodies at the point. Now, are they going to slow it down? Or are they going to switch it up a little bit? So Flood is now going with the Genji instead of the Pharah. And there's, there's no point. He uses ult earlier. Um, Kefri is on Widow. But Stimp now trying to play the Tracer battle, see who's better. Known for just using being tanked primarily during the tournament. He's looking a little low, but now gets the heals from the uh, Zen. And now Lucio as well, 2v1. Six feet can't do it by himself like that. Yeah, so what's interesting about uh, screen wave media is like you see a lot of characters uh, or a lot of players on this team. They actually are playing roles that they don't normally main. So like when you're saying, you know, uh, Stimp goes over on the Tracer, it's like, well, he was just playing main tank. But he doesn't really play main tank, yes. but he's playing main tank for this team. Correct, correct. Um, and that's, you know... Not to say, once you're playing one, unless you're like a true one trick that you're only playing one hero, like at this level you have to have a nice pool of characters because situations right. change all the time is the nature of the game. We're nerfing everything. Oh, wow. right two with the 2k. We're going to get any kind of res Kefri on it. He does pick up two though. Oh, yep. Nesdan's not resing anything. 
And Screenwave still holds on to this point, so as long as their bodies are on the point, they are going to be, keep getting percentage. Uh, but but definitely yeah, only Kefri there, and we got a monkey that's 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 going. Who's left on the point right now? All he right, doesn't so we got fall, though, there. without taking out Erebos, so that is actually pretty big, taking out that Lucio there. Especially him being so close to oh. B, because now they're going to turn this fight. Oh. Flood's yeah. going to try to clutch this out, and it looks like he gets more, but he doesn't get anything more than that. He actually dies to Karku. So Mito now on the Doomfist. Um, it's a very solid hold. You know, we've been seeing this all day from Screen Wave. They're just doing only, everything so clean. Not cut. only did they now match it, now they're at 98%. They're not going to be able to get it to the point on time. Yeah, I don't believe anyone. Oh, wow, point. with the clutch. Kaiju just barely making it in now with Monkeys following behind. They're going to go right for the Mercy. They don't want any kind of support what's, whatsoever for these guys. They just want to end it now. Pulse Bomb on deck for Stim. Oh, quite wow. Hit it, but got, it does get a little bit of damage off on somebody, and that's still good. Got the Lucio ult on time, too. Going back to Pharah with Flood since there is now no longer a uh, a Hanzo, but doesn't do too much good. Yeah, and it just looks looks like Screen Wave is just going to battle this one out, and they're probably going to win this point. Uh, they only have about two bodies on the point. Uh, Mythos is almost dead. Doofus is on top of them. And there oh, we go. Man. That's the first map on there. Reversed it back. Yeah. Is that changed? Like we said earlier, like, you know, they, they all decided to kind of flip the script a little bit. Snip not doing just tanking the yeah. entire way. Decided to take the Tracer on, uh, hit the one uh, hit the 1v1s, or rather the 2v1s, considering Lucio was getting, was pocketing her earlier on. Um, so we move on to Control Center. This is not a dive map. We probably will see the switches onto the Zarya Ryan comp that we are all mm -hmm. used to seeing right now. Um, this is what's great about Li Zhang is, is there's a few different types of, uh, you know, there's an inside map, and then you have a map where you can actually dive and actually be, you know, you have free range with the fire. Mm -hmm. Inside, this is like, we'll see the Samito's going Doomfist, Kefri's mm -hmm. going Reaper. Close quarters. A it's lot gonna become, of damage. Yeah, They're going to have to get right in space. Correct, correct. Um, you won't see snipers as much here due to just all the corners. Looks like uh, they're also reaching. Bri uh, Bridget is coming in too. A little more ground control. Um, those, you know, we're not looking at vertical space here. We're just talking about just these straight brawls that are happening here, just to help the entire team. With Doofus being there too, it's going to help uh, due to you know being able to stun him, prevent him from really moving around. Because yep. uh, you know, once he besides his you know his dash punch and his actual uppercut and elbow, his actual abilities, he doesn't have mobility past that. Oh man, uh, Kaido getting pinned at the end right there, losing the mech due, and, due to the early fight, and Tech had already at 99% earlier on. He was wow, already yeah, fully charged. Already had his just, just, just wrecking house. They're just gonna go ahead and clean up here. They already, take, they already took the point, so they are getting percentage. Yes. Looks like Moira is going to be able to get out of this. Oh, Super wow. hard stagger there it was. was yep. That's gonna take. There's gonna be a little bit before uh, six feet comes back. Just trying to get that grab before they come in. Trying to get some. Let's see. We're going to see the people's elbows. Samito being very aggressive right now. Now I'm interested to see which one they're oh, going to actually oh, combo. Oh, just just, just barely whip the Ryan. And then Meteor Strike just to, just to zone him out. Get away. You don't know where I'm going to go. It's uh, very hard to dodge a Doom Pistol. Yep. Didn't, didn't know where he's going. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm like, I don't know where he slam dunked that, but. He may have actually gone to the. He actually may have like fallen just backwards retreated. just yeah. so he can regroup with his team. It's better not to uh, overextend. Exactly, one body to make a five v six versus trying to save yourself for it. May way better. All right, so Flood and Kaiju another. taking down Car Q and more. There are no supports on the screen wave side, and now Both everyone's right next Everybody to just other, wants yeah. to give each other a hug right now. Just come what? here. Just just come here. Come yeah, here. and you know, screen wave looked like they were taking that. They looked like they were taking that attack right there, but powerhouse was able to just come right through. And it looks like they're going to try to even push up more yep, for stack. They're going to kind of give them the whole uh, the same kind of effect right now. We're just not going to let you get any kind of ground. Yeah, uh, Kefri did make the change uh, to wait change. Actually, I think he was on Reaper earlier. Excuse me. We are starting to see them though. They're starting to back up. Powerhouse is starting to get a little bit scared. They're trying to give him a little bit more respect, and more picks up Erebos. That's going to be big picks. I don't think they're going to be able. They don't have a mercy, so there is no res. Here. And I guess Samito, yeah, wasn't caring too much about the Doomfist anymore. Yeah, Mythos goes for a pretty long shift there, and uh, it just kind of puts him out of position. No shield at all. People just kind of start shooting at him. But Tech is doing really well this 32%? percent uh, Oh, I thought they'd even get the 33, unfortunately. Uh, nope. So it looks like Technic's actually going to come up on another grab here, and uh, it looks like Flood is behind him, but not by too much. But that might not matter for this next team fight because the next team fight might determine who wins this map. And surprise, no, uh, no rally yet either. We see the uh, grab come out here. In screen wave doesn't get. They were able to pick up Erebos and their Moira, but I don't think that's going to be enough, oh, especially with wow. this Hanzo coming in. How does he know? 
How does he know? Wow, he actually got oh. booped and he didn't actually hit it. He's still <laughs> able to block it. There's a nice shielding by Stim. And he really pushes into it. Wow. wow, right to the ship. Right to the ship. That's you know, it. When you're at 98%, you might as well just charge in. If you have a shatter, you'll stop anybody that's trying to get to that point. So I believe that is Screen Wave taking that entire... They're taking the series now. Now it's just going to be a, a play for the fourth map. Yep. These boys... Wow, six feet under. Is this for the early grab very in the very beginning of the map? Uh, no, it was like the second fight in. Oh, yeah, yeah. When they had their push in. Yeah. Not, whoa. Uh, yeah, that was when we had both grabs coming out. And how did, oh, Powerhouse wait. still was able to come out on top there. Did the pin, but he was pinned. Did the grab then pull Ryan away from it? So what I think happened was... Right before he hits the wall, I think he actually did get pulled back, but yeah. you still heard that okay. sound cue of him getting, you know, you uh, saw it. You'll, you'll yeah. see it up there. Just 